Welcome to How To, a quality digest series for quality control, quality assurance specialists who need quick instructions on uh, how to get something done. This episode is sponsored by Mitotoyo, and in this episode, Craig Howell of CPM Labs is going to show us how to use an offset centerline caliper. Great. All right. This is a pretty specialized tool that Mitotoyo has provided us. Let me show you some of the features close up. The first thing you'll notice is instead of a fixed jaw on this side, it's adjustable. So it can be, you can loosen here and move it higher, move it lower. Second thing you might notice are the actual tips. They come to a tapered point and their exact known distance. The, the, the actual blade is 400 thousandths wide and the, the tip is right at 200 on both of them. So the display will work as a normal caliper. You can put things in between the two in the flat surfaces and it'll zero out. But when you're going to use these tips, you just hold the, you hold the or offset feature on here on the display. I'll get my finger out of the way in a minute here. And it changes over to 400 thousandths. So that's, that's center to center on center the, to center, on the exactly. tips. Exactly. Okay. So let's show it in use, because that's what this whole series is about, is how to use these things. So let's say we have a, a part and the actual call out is from hole to hole, but they're on different levels. You can't use a normal caliper and get anywhere near because you're, you're measuring at an angle. Here with the offset, we dropped the jaw down. You just merely put it in the hole, the other one in the, in the hole, push down because they're self-centering. And you have a, a measurement of 4845. Now, in order for this really to work though, is I mean, you, you, you have to have this you have to have the, the, the caliper parallel right. to your, the plane of your device, right? Right, it can't be like that, it can't be like this. So you've got to get this height adjusted pretty close. Right, it's just going to take a little setup first. Okay. But you get a very accurate, very repeatable measurement, center to center without having to, to worry about the diameter of the holes. Now these actually will accommodate a hole from 60 thousandths up to 400 thousandths of an inch. Okay. So they have a broad range of diameters that they can handle. You can use this as a normal caliper, as we said. Removing the offset, we're zeroed. And I, I'm, I'm using a 210 block under these lights. There's no telling how it's gonna respond. Oh, looks like <coughs> 210. There's the 210. Here's a 920 block. We've got 920. So you can use it as a normal caliper for OD measurement. Its main forte is, is doing the hole measurements, and that's where you would that's where you would use the offset itself here to 400. You also can use it from center line to edge, but now in this case it would be 200,000. You have to take 200 for your measurement. Let me show you how that would be done in another example. Right here, let's say this was your reference surface, and this hole had to be a certain distance from, from way down low. I'm going to try to turn this around here because this can be done and this is one of the beauties of this tool. I suppose you could make different size jaws on this, different, different lengths. It would have to be the same size but different lengths. That problem that you just mentioned uh, of being a little bit skewed here can be minimized by what I'm doing is I'm putting all the pressure right here, oh, so holding that Still. So you're making that flush to that, right. that parallel or to perpendicular. that uh, perpendicular surface, okay. And go right into the hole. And I'm showing 5305, but we would have to take 200 thousandths off, so it's 0 0.3305. But very easy to get a measurement. 5295, so about okay. a thousandth off. You can see how that's done. Yep, oh, very good. So this also has the SPC output socket. It's absolute, so you can re-zero it along the line and get back to absolute zero without having to do anything more than hold a button. It is coolant and dust proof, right. IP67, which right. is a very high rating. And this is the whole specialized feature of it, and you could see a number of uses that you could do for different levels. You could make all kinds of your own. Sure. All right, I appreciate that. Uh, so again, this was the offset Offset, offset center, center line, line okay. caliper, yeah. and the parts we were using were provided by our good friends at Ruxco Engineering down in Diamond Springs. We wanted the best, so we went to Ruxco. Went to right. Ruxco, got some parts to show. Thanks, guys, and also thanks to uh, Mitotoyo, the sponsor of this episode, for providing the offset center line Digimatic 
absolute, absolute caliper. Cool, cool and proof. <laughs> cool and proof caliper. Thanks, guys. And thanks to all of you for joining us, and we'll see you at the next How To. As the world's largest provider of measurement and inspection solutions, Mitutoyo America Corporation offers a complete selection of machines, sensors, systems, and services with a line encompassing CMMs, vision, form, precision tools and instruments, and metrology data management software. Mitutoyo's nationwide network of metrology centers provides application, calibration, service, repair, and educational programs.